My dear friends in the Lord, a blessed day. This is Father June Limbaga, and welcome to Encounter. Life can be so heavy at times that we get exhausted and tired. Our problems and trials can overwhelm us and drain our energy. The wounds of our relationship can weaken us to fight for our daily breath. There are just moments in our life when we are just fed up and bruised with disappointment and after disappointment, with problem after problem. So in a life that is burdened with just so much, Jesus is inviting us to come to me and I will give you rest. But what does it mean to rest in Him? You know, rest nowadays has been associated with going somewhere for fun or adventure or a vacation with an escape from reality, which ironically afterwards would leave us more tired than rested and financially drained and internally empty still. To rest then does not mean to look for diversion or to find an escape, but it is to find our anchor and solid ground in God. So first, to rest is to reconnect with our source. We all want a way out of our pains, but where do we go? We try to seek refuge in things that we think could give us answers and yet we find ourselves wanting still, empty still. So Jesus says, come to me, because only God alone could fulfill our satisfaction. We can never find rest outside the solidarity and the nearness of God. Now second, to rest is to recharge in his love. You know, even the most expensive and advanced power bank goes drained. And so are we. That is why we need to connect with a source where all the energy and vitality that we have released for love is replenished with a love that is personal, unconditioned, and accepting with a heart that is charged with more love, any heavy burden becomes bearable. Finally, to rest is to refocus our lives. A life that is not realigned with God will always be restless, but connected with God, we find the light even in our darkest moments and we see hope even in our most difficult times. So resting in God does not mean life becomes painless, but the pains of life will never distract us of its beauty. Yes, life is painful, and yet even then, even then, life is a beautiful gift. last quarter of 2011, Mama was diagnosed with tumor in her brain. 21 years after she was diagnosed with a malignant cancer in her breast. I was the last one who knew about the news for at the time I was assigned in the boondocks of Taiwan where signal was quite difficult. When I heard about the news, I, I wanted to call Mama but I just did not know what to say. Two days after, I, I went home and I expected Mama to be truly devastated. When I opened the door of the room and when she realized that it was I, the first thing that Mama did was, was to smile. I will never forget that smile. And then her first words to me were, Dong, Palanga jud kos ginoo. Kay human ko niya gitagaan o cancer. Iyan na pod kong gitagaan o tumor sa utok. 
God has really loved me. For after giving me cancer, now he has given me tumor in my brain. I moved towards Mama and said, Ma, this is no time to joke about it. I mean, your situation is serious. And then she just looked at me with such joy and said, I am serious. If God has been with me in my joys, how can God abandon me in my pains? And what is there to worry? And she meant it. She believed it. I felt so ashamed because, because I am the priest and I am the one who is supposed to comfort her. But I must admit, I am also a son. A son who is just too afraid to lose a mother. In silence, Mama just embraced me tightly, leaving me with one important lesson on what it means to have faith in God. Joy is not the absence of pain in life. Joy comes in our recognition that even in our deepest pains, we have a God who is present with us. This is another episode of Encounter. Thank you for finding the time to watch. May God continue to bless you and your loved ones. And always remember, God loves you just because.